1990 was an unbelievable year, and every week there was an upset. And all of a sudden, here was Virginia, which was preseason ranked 15th, and everybody was watching to see if, in fact, Virginia, now ranked number one, was for real. There was a lot being said about Virginia at the time. Really wasn't much being said about us. And, and I wasn't unhappy about that. I really wasn't. Well, it's a very explosive Virginia offense. It will be a major test, a severe challenge for that highly rated Yellow Jacket defense. I remember the conversation I had with Ralph, and I'm telling him how good Virginia is. And he has just got steam coming out of his ears. We had Tim Brandt doing that game. And I coached Tim when he was at Maryland. Oh, wow. And uh, he was telling me how great Virginia was before the game. <laughs> and I'm saying, Tim, you're going to kick their butts tomorrow. It's going to be the biggest crowd in Virginia history. There's never been a game like this one here. I'm behind very early. And, uh, and I mean, it looked like it could have been a runaway. Can they be stopped? Four for four. Virginia scored all four times it's had the football. There was no panic in our football team. And everyone, I think the true um, um, fabric of our football team was shown. And one thing you used to say to me all the time, you go through your progressions, nobody there in this man coverage take off and run. They'll run for it. Jones has the first down. And the touchdown for Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech came into play, and they never felt like they were out of this game. And guys kept battling and scratching and clawing. Intercepted! Here comes Tech! For every play. It wasn't just one play, it was every play. Herman Moore's got a step on Swilling. He's got Defensive coach, you don't really want to say this, but it was one of those ones you feel like whoever had the ball last was going to win. Keep in mind, as they start this drive, Georgia Tech has only one timeout. What did we throw? It was like, um, Play action, uh, curl. Oh, we had the. Oh, uh, we ran the. Uh, uh, 45, 816, something like 816, that. 816, yeah. That's exactly what it was. And you hit the hook. <laughs> That's it. And you hit the hook. Yep. And actually, we went to our left. We put the ball on the left yeah. hash. Right. Jones has Lester down to the 20. Tech's going to be set up to win this game. Man, I'm never missing Sisson. That was our guy. Bobby Ross is taking no chances. He brings his field goal unit out. I mean, the worst. Part of being the kicker was the waiting around, the kind of the not knowing how long the kick is going to be, or if the wind's going to be blowing, or what the circumstances will be. They called a timeout, I guess, to kind of ice Scott Sisson, and I remember Pat Watson came up to me. <laughs> I still think about it and laugh about it, and he said, Coach, go over there to Scott and tell him a joke. I said, I don't know any damn jokes. How can I tell him a joke? He said, go tell him a joke. I didn't, I went over there, but I didn't tell him a joke. Scott Sissom, one for one today. Scott Aldridge will hold. But I, I, I will never forget Scott Aldridge sitting in that, in that huddle, asking the guys how many diamonds they wanted in the ring. And that kind of, so you need a, you need a psychologist as much as you do a holder, because by the time he finished his, his little speech in the middle of that huddle, how many not a single one of the us, ring? That's pretty good. <laughs> not a That's single one good. of us had any doubt that we were going to hit that kick. From 37 yards, Sisson, yes! Georgia Tech has done it. It's the greatest win I've ever had. Our kids just fought and hung in there, and they just wouldn't quit, and we did it. 